Welcome to your OG show of the week. We're doing this OG show on Twitch, a little something different. Yeah, a little but, something uh, different. Um, for everybody watching Twitch, that somebody is not calling. A, Who is that? Should I grab it now? Let me grab it. I like to grab them live. It's a four six nine number. Oh, hold on, not that one. All right, let's see. Hello. Hello. Oh, they're ringing again. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, this is Audrey, and I'm a social security disability consultant on a recorded line, and you can press one to be removed. Now, I show here um, that you've recently inquired about your eligibility for social security disability benefits. Uh, Can you hear me okay? I can hear you just fine, robot. Well, what we do here at Senior Aid Helper is help people qualify for up to $2,600 a month in social security disability benefits. Right. Go on. I'm listening. I'm sorry, what was that? I said I'm listening! Thank you. Oh, fucking robot. I'm with Senior Aid Helper regarding oh, insurance. No. My callback number is 866 201 3259. So fast! So fast! Oh! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so fast! She's like, you uh, call me back, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> so I was really trying to assume I, the persona of an old man and that number if i'm just your market research that number's too fast there's no way an elderly person right. can write down the callback number you got you guys didn't even listen to your own your own thing you're not even you're not even checking it you're not even checking she's it. just trying to get to five o'clock i know, I know. that's a sad <laughs> tired robot, robot. <laughs> like a robot just trying to like oh, oh god wait once the robots up give up we're really fucked <laughs> it, what is the morality behind, like, okay, using a robot and pretending it's a real person, fine, but having little things to trick the person into believing it's a real person, like saying, can you hear me okay? <laughs> like, a robot <laughs> wouldn't say that. So, you, obviously, right. they're saying that because but they're, what happens they're trying if I to say trick. no? Do they turn up the robot? Well, it's listening. There's got to be an automated response, right? Yeah, yeah, it's listening for cues, like, no, and then it raises the volume. I don't know, some shit like yeah. that. But it's tricking the person who's probably going to be an old person that doesn't right. realize this is just a robot or recorded whatever, you know, it's artificial intelligence, right? Oh, um, Norm, uh, Norm wrote it down. He said he called the number and he got the thing where it says, uh, it's changed. Press one. The number he's changed. So, Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Well, it's all scam too. Right? I mean, I guess with it, Okay. Follow me with this, with as many scams as, you know, they're, they're all out there, right? I mean, there isn't a person I know that doesn't get inundated uh, with either calls and now the yeah. new thing. I know you get texts now, uh, which is really creepy. Every one of my calls is, is a scam. Is a scam. Or similar county school system. Yeah, but like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, with well, the school they're, ones, they're, they're I always get the one for the principal. They're like, hey, this is the principal. 14 individuals re- uh, yeah. connected to our school have COVID-19. Yeah. Yeah. They do that thing. It's like, you just... Listen, these, these I'm going to... students gonna... has not been on site since January 27th. I don't need the recorded message. Everyone's got COVID. That's what I thought. <laughs> it's already, yeah, yeah. I don't need to know any time of the COVID scare. I made Andrew mad. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, think there's always COVID. I made school. Andrew right mad because after we got COVID during Christmas, they were calling like the, when we got back and they're like, this is the principal calling. And then they said that there have been uh, five individuals that let me. And I was like, that's us. You know, because they like, they flagged us. I'm like, yeah. We got <laughs> it. We got uh, um. Mark Villain's here. How yeah. you doing, Mark? Hey, Mark. Hey, what's up? Um, Speaking of COVID. Yeah, we're just hanging out <laughs> until we do our ACT, but um, this particular show was when we were out in Colorado. Yeah. Um, and uh, we did a Friday free show. It's nice out there. With our wives, and I believe uh, my... Uh, my uh, my brother in law Jetson was there. <laughs> yep. Turning the old man. <laughs> my, 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 I can't remember I if we did that on the on the uh, BDM show or the Friday show. Yeah, we we, we gave Jetson that. a sucking candy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> get up here on my lap, big boy. Oh wow, well, you're growing like a weed. So, trying to think of all the things my grandpa used to say to me. He'd be like, he'd be like, uh, did you get your feet wet? He'd tell you a lot of that. Let's talk about the mountains, because uh, Mark, you uh, you enjoy some mountains, right? Oh yeah, we travel a lot. I feel you like you guys didn't need to both look at Sam when you said that. You like mountains? I like mountains too. Yeah, you yeah. want to go to Twin Peaks? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a two business. Yeah, owners. A business I, noticed, yeah. I noticed that yeah, I was yeah. being pushed out of the business yeah. meeting here. I was getting pushed yeah, yeah. pushed aside a little bit. Yeah, yeah. What, what am I considered? Some sort of uh, a gay artist or something? <laughs> you guys don't want to bring me into your cool business uh, club? You want to talk mountains? I want to be in the business club. <laughs> um, and I feel like uh, if you like the beach. You like the mountains. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what that yeah. means? <laughs> I do know what that means. Ah. Sand. Yeah. Uh, um, Seagulls. 
Fish. So. <laughs> 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 Tricked you to say it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the whole plan was to get you to say fish. So, um, our, you know, like, the, you, you got the Rocky Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just going to tell us all the mountain ranges? Welcome, welcome that back Blue to Ridge. the great I'm OG not a show <laughs> where we will now go through our favorite mountain ranges. The Pyrenees. We have the Pyrenees. Uh, the Blue Ridge. The Smoky. Mar, you like uh, Montana and those oh, yeah. out there doing? What kind of and rivers you, you like? <laughs> you, like uh, you like the Rhine River in Europe, or are you more of like a St. John's man? <laughs> the uh, the there is. Oh, no, you're doing it again. No, it's there's something more visually appealing to the like, mountains over the beach. No, no, the rivers in that area, like Colorado and stuff. Oh, yeah, we got shit rivers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say it. Yeah, yeah, well, they're not brown. Yeah. Yeah. Florida <laughs> brown <laughs> shit yeah, rivers. Our, they have different colors. They have blue and then the If it was the clear, snow. if our rivers were clear, goddamn, it would be so much better. You know how many people have said that? <laughs> if, we, <laughs> if we only had springs. It's <laughs> like, well, we got the, the no, it gets shitty yeah, fast. Too many <laughs> shitty trees. Well, it's yeah. like it's only clear for 200 yards. Where the north huh? gets the edge is that their leaves don't leak tannic or shit colors yeah. into their wa- into their waterways. You and then the snow makes gives it a perfect like um like a almost like comparatively, right? Like so anything on a bright white backdrop is going to pop and look great. Yeah. What do we have? Off white Right, the it's beach. just the cigarettes in yeah, the all, Florida people yeah, yeah. make the water. Brown. Everything <laughs> here is like a little yellow. Everything <laughs> is yellow here. And like uh, it was all yellow. Coldplay. It, uh, up there, like the bottom of the river, it are round, perfect, smooth, like smooth. Well, smooth rocks yeah. that I paid, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, six eight flags. eight dollars yeah. a back for yeah. six flags because they're like perfect river rocks. You're like they're all in the thing. Yeah. Right? nobody collects <laughs> our. F- they're on the whole thing. Tell me the last huh? time that somebody has come to Florida and then looked around and then scooped <laughs> up like I don't know fish skeleton, jellyfish. <laughs> it's all uh, mud. Some sort of shit weed, amoebas, amoebas <laughs> uh, like a Walmart bag, and then made it into the decor of their entire house. Right. Yeah. 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 And it's like, yeah, their rivers are super cold at all times. Uh, they look nice, though. Our, our shit, you can swim in, but it's like, don't go when it's too hot. <laughs> the yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's no and cure. It's filled with gators, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The gators. I don't believe that. There's no cure. Even in Walking Dead, when Herschel got, or somebody got bit, you just yeah, chop, chop it, it off yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah. it gets to the top. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. if you get an amoeba in your nose, you chop your nose off, good to go. No, yeah, I think it's, it's in the brain. Too yeah, quick. once it's in the brain. But you're like, there's not even a pill of some sort of shit yeah. that is like, you Chemotherapy. Know. Give me the same <laughs> shit they use for. <laughs> shoot me chemo my brain and see if you can get that thing out of there. <laughs> yeah, it won't kill an amoeba. Yeah. Well, you can't kill a cockroach. So same way. <laughs> What's that yeah, stuff yeah, you yeah, drink? Yeah. Um, The other one that they make. Bleach? You- no, that no, kill no. COVID. no, I only drank that. Yeah, it does. That's yeah, fat. Yeah. Listen to our show. <laughs> <laughs> they eject it. You don't. <laughs> anyway, um, that whole area is pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. They yeah, got yeah. the non shit mountains. It's pretty great there. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not flat. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there is something uh, like mountains in the background. They're fucking nice. He's like, yeah. like, oh, look at that. I'm I like, like a mountain in the But background. you get used to it like everything. Like, it, Remember the whole argument of like you live at, in the Bahamas and you look at that turquoise water. We, I mean, we did a okay. Bahamas cast. We talked about this. Like, Do you just... It becomes... Yes. You get used to it and you stop looking at it, it and it stops becoming like a, a thing. I'll tell like, you oh, what I don't like, though. I'll tell you something. Again, something about the mountains or hilly area. You know, people, they, they get to Florida and they're like, it's too flat here. It's too flat. I don't know. I kind of like it flat because my my automobile or my motorcycle or whatever I'm on seems to do what it's supposed to do. Any car that I'm in in the mountains, it's like as you're going up the mountain, you realize just how shitty your car is. It's yeah. like, it's like <laughs> it's going, you also get winded. I mean, pretty yeah, damn I'm quick. Just, although you get acclimated to that, I guess. But uh, I never like we were out there like a week, and the last yeah. day I'm like maybe five percent better. <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't know. You need to yeah, you need to live there or whatever. But. Uh, it just goes to show you, like the the best the best way you could do it would be to live if you could. Like, okay, if you had a virtual job, right? Let's let's paint the picture where in twenty years, I mean, how much of the percentage of the workforce is going to be virtual, right? Way more than it is now, yeah. and it's a lot now compared to what it was two years ago, right? So if you like you you know like my sons, they you know they get out of the of high school or their education or whatever they do and they start getting a job if their job is virtual they i would tell them to just go and rent like 
in like two, like maybe quarterly in different locations and live your life in different places and, and like the coolest places and just yeah. constantly move right instead of being in one place. I mean I that I'm would conf- be the best. That's life, a dream, right? for sure. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm confused of the term because like virtual to me used to mean that it's not real. And now what virtual means is like, it means that it's just off not site. on site. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're so, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so like off we have site. taken this idea and made like, it, it like we, we're using it like differently, I think, you know, like to me, when somebody says like, I'm, I'll be working virtually, I'll be like, well, you're not going to be doing much. Yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. where you fall into dumb old man categories. You <clears> hear that. Yeah. And you're like, well, what do you mean by that? But it, you know? it, it just, it opens up the opportunity for like, I'd tell my, you know, that before you settle down with a family, it's harder to, you can't really do it and, or it complicates things with a family and stuff because then you got school and whatnot. But if you were going to spend like the first five to 10 years of your life or your whole twenties, just, and you worked on the internet only, or all you need is an internet connection to do your job, yeah. just travel around and live, and you know, you don't, you know, you can't go to Aspen because a fucking, a monthly rental is $8,000, you know, but you could go to some place in Colorado and get an Airbnb for like a long-term rental for a couple months and then just, just yeah. jump from place to place, right? But the, are the most important <laughs> jobs, the jobs that can't go remote? What the most? I mean, I'm trying to dial down like, you know, like most jobs can be remote. Even what we're doing here, if we wanted to, we could have Sam wherever she wants to be at you, wherever you want to be at me, wherever I want to be at. We could still sort of do a version of this. That's pretty close. But so will there were there is is there a, a like a point where it's like there are specific jobs where that person has to be on site where that that job, though, becomes like certainly more important. Of, of course, like there's jobs that will never go remote, but there's tons of them that had never needed to be in an office to begin with. Well, like, right. You know. My wife does that. She works two full time jobs that don't know about each other, and she finishes the whole day in like three hours. It's yeah. Different. Yeah, because she can get it done fast. And like most jobs are that's like. That's cool. It's a structural yeah. design. It's like, it's, it makes me mad because I, you know, I work. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that's my point. Well, is, you work is for that yourself. Yours yours never ends. Ends. But yeah, also, yeah. yours is a little more tangible in that you, I think what you do, there there is a lot more of you needed on site yeah right yeah. like i mean you virtually okay. doing oh, you that leave for a week and it's like oh man yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's, okay let's set up the perfect that's kind of what scenario. i was trying to get to I, i'm not explaining it very well for some reason today but okay hey, it's a monday Let, let's set up the perfect scenario then we'll go to act but um let's say <laughs> uh you had a virtual or a uh, work from anywhere job okay. right um what what four or five places would you go to throughout the year I'll, and i'll nominate like I like Colorado in the fall because it's so beautiful and like and the, the leaves are changing and yeah. just uh, it's like nice weather and it's like, uh, you know, you can wear just a light hoodie and be good, but yeah. it's like cool. Anyway, I like, so you taking a, like two months and around that area, Colorado fall time um, would be pretty fucking sweet. And then you go, I mean, you can go to Costa Rica for a small amount of time, um, Florida, the small amount of time, you yeah. know, like what's the best time in Florida if you go stayed on like a, the West Coast uh, beach or like even the East Coast. Probably like, right now, right? Satellite <laughs> beach, you know, I guess. Winter. Yeah. Right now. Unless we you're into what, snow, you know. Yeah, yeah. Which it's seemingly everywhere else in the country. It's yeah, snowing. I mean, yeah, my God, it's like lizards it, everywhere. I'm I'm not a very happy boy today. No, I don't, I don't like this don't weather like at all. Either. Like it makes me move slow. Like a yeah. So you spend beat wor- up little turtle. It's just spend, more work. You spend mm-hmm. winters in Florida and like Satellite Beach. Um, then you do falls over in like Colorado, or whatever. Or first you go Arizona before it gets hot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah oh yeah, 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 like a midway stop. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, then you go Montana. Puerto Rico, back to Florida. No. I'm working on this right now. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Puerto, I figured, well, I was talking Puerto fall Rico. Well, because, uh, P- I don't Por- know Spanish. Puerto Rico, I don't think you need to. <laughs> you know, no, I, no. Like, yeah, yeah. My wife's Puerto Rico, though. So there there you go. Go. Yeah, yeah. What's, uh, it would help, though. I feel like I feel like if I lived oh, there, I would... Sure. They'd respect would, you more, for sure. Yeah, it, I would certainly... As long as you try. <laughs> oh, I would. Yeah, if you're there, you got to go all in, man. You got you know, to do it right. You know, like, we have so many Puerto Rican friends and uh, that... And I never hear, and maybe it's because I, you know, uh, I just don't know as much, but it's like, I never hear people talk about like going to Puerto Rico 
for like weekend trips or no, for I don't vacation, either. even though it was beautiful. Oh, I, I on, see on it the, all the time. <clears throat> sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, on I the mean, beach, everyone does because that's the waves. You know, p- people, it's a quick, you jump on, get there for the weekend. It's the easiest trip from Florida. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't know that. Besides like Bahamas, but there's no real, there's only right. one island right. of surf in and the Bahamas. And it's pretty reasonable prices to stay mm-hmm. over there too. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Like I hear more people go to the Bahamas than Puerto Rico and you'd think that Puerto Rico, since it's cheaper I prefer and Puerto bigger, Rico, but I... <clears throat> yeah. I mean, because you can go to still some places in Puerto Rico that are probably not as touristy right. and there's no, really no place. I mean, there's, there's different areas of the Bahamas, but for the most part- um, it's so small that everything's touristy because that's their main economy, you know? I mean, Isn't that a... like one of Jim Phillips' like favorite place to visit was Puerto Rico, I think? I think so, yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely one of mine. Like, I, I've always enjoyed I've never been. Puerto I've Rico never been either. over all the places. The The <clears> most <throat> fun I had was the time I went as a kid to stay um, in San Juan with my dad's friend. So we were staying at like a home. So it's different. When you do that. Um, so I, what part of Puerto Rico, Mark? Well, there's like the tourist part, uh, the San Juan area, and then like um, the other side with like uh, Rincon and stuff. That's like the surf tourist. So it's still kind of, but it's more like like, like the beach in Florida, like the town, small towns like that. And then you have like the countryside, which is like the country. Oh, I bet that's country. awesome. Yeah. There's a part of me, though, that would want to reserve like maybe a little bit of time to see the city, though. You know, like I, I don't, I've never been to New York City, like and walked around just to just to check it out. So there'd be a part of me working remote that would kind of just want to be undecided. So I could kind oh, of yeah. bounce to Chicago. <clears throat> or or bounce, change yeah, yeah, time like, like you to do. To go to like a big city, because I know that's the exact opposite of what I like. Well, I like going to the city, but I don't want to live. Yeah, but visiting the city and living there for a couple months would be cool Different. because the yeah. city living is cool in itself. Yeah, and like I every time a, a month <clears throat> of that, a couple months of that to check it out and, yeah. and and do weird visiting and stuff like that. Especially because like you just you know you want the difference. So it's like you spend uh, you know uh, a month in Puerto Rico on the beach and then you go and spend a, a month in the city. Totally different. It's like uh, as long as it's just constantly changing. That's it's blowing where... my mind the number of people uh, in Sam included and in the <clears> chat room <throat> that haven't been to Puerto Rico. Oh man, it oh. is a really awesome spot. Cheap and easy. Yeah, it is like, and the food is phenomenal, and the people are super friendly. And again, I was looking at like some of the all inclusives over the summer. Like, well, hmm. yeah, yeah. Man, like, I wish we could that do tells a me. Tom and Dan go to Puerto Rico. Oh, I yeah, mean, I'm in. Let me know. I'll give me some up. sunshine. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, that tells me they don't advertise it uh, enough or something or something I, like I that. I think right? you're right because I, more I people should be going. You can even ask Andrea out of all this, the dumb destinations we've been to on any cruise. Well, or I the think times that, that last flown, hurricane really fucked them up pretty yeah. bad, and I think that they're still in recovery. So I don't. Help. I think a lot of people don't think about going to Puerto Rico because they think that it's like still fucked up. You know what I mean? Well, they got a couple of toilet paper rolls are fun. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> well, enjoy these shows. We got two. Uh, I'll, I'll throw these on there. But um, yeah, you're right. Uh, I think they're, they're still rebuilding from. Uh, that's how fast that, that news c- cycle moves, right? We completely forgot that. You know, I mean, like, shit. The Bahamas are still yeah, fucked up from that up. last uh, yeah. huge storm. You know, um, my wife's dad went a year without power. A year, oh my and he was so we tried to get him to come here, and he's like, oh, "I'm fine." <laughs> Did he just live with no power? <laughs> he's like, uh, like Puerto Rican redneck style. Yeah, oh, Puerto Rican real man. Yeah, he's right, like, right, "I'm fine." Okay, <laughs> well, that's rough. Then when you get it back, it must be life changing. Yeah. Right? Oh, right? oh, you're, you're like, "Oh my god, light!" Or or maybe he's like, not that good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, enjoy your shows. Um, 437 entitled, it's a mountain time Friday free show. And then tacking on, uh, the, the tail end of that, we're doing our one and only interview with country Wayne. So oh, cool. enjoy that. And we will see you on the BDM show. It is another A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producer, is here. Hello, Samantha. How are Hello, you? Hello. I am good. How are you? Overly ca- You and I got the caffeines. You oh, got yeah. a Red Bull. You got a bubbly caffeine. Got wings. I got the uh, Ghost Energy Sour Patch Red <laughs> Berry Mega Blast. <laughs> Why do you keep buying Look at how big the list of ingredients is. <laughs> Nothing natural in mm, that. Nothing all natural. Chemicals. All the lasers in this one right here. But uh, we have a couple things. I'm all hyped up. We got a couple things we need to tell you about before we dig into today's show. Yeah, our charity auction is still going on. It's TomAndDanGiveBack.com. Um, all the excursions. Oh, it was happening. <laughs> well, you should have had yourself a ghost oh, natural something. energy and get that caffeine <laughs> no, and I know. blow the cobwebs off your uvula. <laughs> My God. 
Um, all the different things that we're offering are on there. Uh, the Griff truck. Uh, I, D- Daniel's uh, bike ride is the highest bid right now. No, no, no. The no, flight no. simulator. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to do the math. You know the Chungus is want to okay. sit and fly. <laughs> yeah, they don't want right. to be biking yeah. through those streets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I think that's great. Like, if uh, uh, somebody's bidding a lot of money to come over here, and I'll, I'll hook up my Microsoft flight, and we will fly around the globe. <laughs> In a custom jet. Yep. And um, my boat trip, uh, um, you can meet me at the marina. Uh, we leave I from think Oasis you pick them Pool up. Bar. Why don't you pick them up? Oh, and then my truck? Like, well, well, no, pick them up in the have... Griff truck. <laughs> Hold on. No, Griff Why truck is all... A... Back, in the day, that back in the day, you would have had a limo with a uh, with its headliner falling down. <laughs> no, you, no. You would have had that swing by and pick up the Lister and then uh, whisk them away to the marina. I will buy the White Claw. We'll, uh, I'll buy some public subs for everybody. Okay. We'll uh, get Mike's in my boat. Mike's hard lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll get in the boat. Uh, I'll take you up Where are to we going? Blue Springs. Okay. Um, I'm going on this trip too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Samantha's going. invited too if she wants to go. How uh, many people can you fit on your boat? Uh, a lot, hey. a lot. Uh, you know, they, don't worry about it. The the weight limit is a suggestion. It's not. Yeah. It's like uh, you know, uh, dive tables. It, exactly. It, it's like oh, it says you know, twenty five hundred pounds. It could fit thirty five hundred easy. No, I, I mean, think way more than that. I mean, that thing <laughs> yeah, is made. Yeah. It's. I mean, you're dealing with people's safety here. I bet you could go triple the regular yeah. weight limit. It'd be just fine. I could put twenty grown adults on from bow Easy to stern. Breezy. I yeah. mean, 20. twenty. You saw the uh, Super Bowl parade in Tampa. Yeah, like, you fill the boats full of people. Exactly. You stand them on the bow. No one cares. You throw the trophy. Exactly. One uh, avocado margarita <laughs> and you're blasted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so blasted. Anyway, then we'll uh, we'll jump in the Blue Springs, revive yourself, and then we'll Re- go back. Oh, <laughs> look, we'll do like All a, the white a let's do it like a baptism. <laughs> Why don't we do like an old Ooh. school? Like we should have. We are a cult. We should have robes and like you drive them up there and then we'll yeah. lay them into the waters. I just saw that Righteous Gemstones. I saw the yeah. little reason one. That's baptism. how they do it. Yeah, Isn't yeah, that yeah. weird? Yeah, yeah. That's weird, right? That's for Medium Infinity ones. That Medium Infinity, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it'll be a pool of blood. Oh, <laughs> but it's yeah. fake blood. It's, like, it's uh, fake blood. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Kool Aid. <laughs> it, it's all ghost energy. <laughs> yeah. Sour yeah, all, Patch Kids. And we'll yeah. we'll lay the all the money goes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anybody. Skin starts tingling. I can imagine. I'm I'm I can imagine me and Tom in our robes. We have like masks on we look like squid game and we're mm. laying some chungus into the energy <laughs> drink and yeah. baptizing his uh, chung guy head this will be great anyway all the money 100 percent goes to yellow brick road foundation so it's tom and dan give except for one dollar i'm gonna take yeah, okay. one yeah, just yeah, for me Daniel, take one from i'm taking him. one okay. just for me and then also um we're doing this uh thing you have to be on the bdm page but um i think we have 15 or 16 available spots but basically, um, and Tony's going to pin it to the top, but if you search Streamline, uh, any of the comment section of this post, we're going to give you a free Gabriella plant as long as you post your experience about Streamline Mortgage Solutions nice. and you're using them. Um, and I know like 26 or 30 people have already posted so far. And uh, read through them. I'm telling you, Streamline Mortgage is a great company. And, yeah. Uh, they do great work. So, so use Streamline. Mention that you use them. Get a free Gabriella plant. Yeah, yeah. So Thirty dollar plant sounds value. Pretty just good to me. Writing a testimonial. Sounds on the page. pretty good yeah. to me. Yeah. So uh, that's on the BDM page right now. Um, Mark Villains here. How you doing, Mark? What's up, guys? How you doing? Good so to see you, man. Yeah, same. It's crazy that locals only is happening again because <laughs> it feels like <laughs> it just happened, <laughs> right? Time doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. I mean, if you think it feels like it just happened to us, I can only imagine. <laughs> that, <laughs> I, know, yeah, yeah. I can only imagine that Mark <laughs> having to put on the event is like. I mean, yeah, the, yeah. It, the, it has that the fact that you know we are a little more isolated made it feel like it's ramped up more this year. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it's uh. It's a lot this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's dig in a little bit. So Thursday, the uh, skateboard competition. And is it just skateboard? Or? Yeah. Thursday is just skate, and it's a uh, Satellite Beach Skate Park. It's um, r- close to where the surf is, but you'll find it. Just look it up. But uh starts at like 5 o'clock, goes to about 9, and that kicks off the event. It's uh, kids all the way up from there. There's Actually, we're doing roller skating this year. There's oh, lots cool. of chicks cool. that come out and do that. Yeah, super nice. cool. Is that, that's a like a, a, a trend that's going on, right? Where like people Roller have skating's back, baby. Like quad skates, but a skate all park's all over here, my, all over this this uh, around the lake out here. When I'm riding my bike, yeah, all guys, girls, all quads. 
Oh, you go to the skate park. There's at least two or three chicks on girls on uh, yeah, rollerblades yeah. almost every time. Um, my friend Lucy from Miami that I grew up with, she takes her son, like her son's Never heard skateboard. Of this Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. another don't one talk about new there. character. Yeah. You don't even want it. She had flamingo pajama pants. <laughs> don't talk Uh-oh. about it. Yeah. And uh, she like quad skates you... while her kids skateboard. Yeah, at she does. The... And I thought it was weird, but and then it turns out like a lot of people are doing this, and it's like a thing. When you leave today, when you're heading home. Because I know normally you're kind of aloof, you know, because that's your, I mean, that's his <laughs> on brand. But seriously, just look, you'll, you'll see one or two before you even leave. It, I'm telling you, it is, yeah, yeah. it make it, I sometimes, what I start of that? you know, sometimes I see things the pandemic. like, our, remember People our buddy, are trying yeah. to find things to do outside. Remember our buddy Roop, how fast he was on those hoverboards and how like oh, yeah. five years ago, six, maybe even seven years ago, he was on these hoverboards. Now they're household names. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, these are the, t- you see these certain trends happen, like these quads, I'm telling you in, an, in another like year everyone will, it'll be like the biggest thing in the world and so like have rollerblades like have, have they been like uh, rollerblades are like more 90s? efficient i think I they think, will always be I, I think, <laughs> but I think rollerblades, weird though i honestly believe if you're a rider and i don't know anything about it but this is just my guess i think yeah. rollerblading is more efficient and better yeah 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 but i think it's cornballier and 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 even though the clunky like quads look cooler they're less efficient and not as good. And they're old school technology, right? So I think you have the, aesthetically, you have one that looks cooler, and then you have one that looks dorky. And it's weird that rollerblades took on that stereotype, right? Because uh, it's like the Razor scooters. If you're like over eight and at a skate park on a ra- Razor scooter, it's the same. Yeah. And there's a bunch. And there's different. Yeah. There's <laughs> different. Well, scooters. are judgy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can do sure like a flip. Too, yeah, but there's different Razor scooters now. Now there's Razor scooters used to be where they had like a rollerblade wheel. Now I'm seeing kids rock them with these big, you know, like a, <laughs> in the biker community, a bunch of these old granddaddy baggers would get wheels are as big as ginormous wagon wheels and then they <laughs> yeah, put a little strip of rubber on the top of it so it's like literally like a little tiny low profile tire it's big in miami it's, <laughs> yeah, it's a like huge a big, front wheel yeah. it's a They're, big what is ugly called? horrible motorcycle monstrosity they do it to baggers all the time i'm seeing it with razor scooters now where they put a big giant wheel on the front and the back and put a tiny little strip of rubber on it and they ride on that <laughs> and i'm like what the hell are you guys doing what are you doing so, uh, skate competitions this Thursday, and then uh, the surf competition is Saturday and Sunday. Um, we will have Eric out there with the Tom and Dan tent. He's, the Merchman. He's going to be giving away a bunch of uh, Tom and Dan stuff and then selling some hats and uh, some other stuff. Um, and, of course, uh, you know, you got your huge... Uh, you know, villain truck and the. I mean, last year's setup was gigantic. Um, it's bigger this year too. We got a couple more things going. Oh, so cool! It'll be cool. Um, I'm gonna head out there on Saturday. Yeah, I, I know I'm Daniel's gonna, planning. I'm gonna on make going. my way. Out I there. actually signed both of you guys up. So. Uh, oh, the <laughs> surf competition, yeah, yeah, pro division. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I love it. I surfed uh, a couple times in my life. Uh, and then I'll tell you, one time <laughs> in ready? Hawaii, in which we were tourists. Oh I was eighteen. That's like a, I think that was like an episode of Gomer Pyle, right? Like where he goes out, he visits yeah. Hawaii <laughs> with, like, and uh, they gave me a longboard. They, like no instruction whatsoever, and a, like a thirteen foot tall longboard. Go right, the, <laughs> go right that way, brother. And uh, and then there. I was just running over other tourists, <laughs> like oh. banging their heads, <laughs> like, because I had no idea what I was doing. And the damn thing was so like I was standing on it. It, wasn't <laughs> <moving. Bunga Dan. laughs> it was thirteen foot, and it was uh, like <laughs> six inches thick. So you could like two people could just stand on it in the water, and it wouldn't fall. <laughs> like it wouldn't go under. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, and the second time was <laughs> my buddy Baloney or not uh, uh, Baloney Andy, but oh, Logic Baloney Man Andy, Andy was out there. <laughs> no, no. Oh my God, Logic Man Andy, we went surfing in California, and it was freezing cold. Which I was like, God, and there was kelp everywhere. Yeah, no. And uh, and the wet, he gave me his old wetsuit, which was too small for me. And then just oh, from power, oh, muffin stuff, <laughs> <into it. laughs> jumped into it. And then it was so, like it was so restrictive on my arms that just from paddling out, yeah. I was my I could Exhausted. not move. I couldn't <laughs> well, move anymore. I mean, so I just paddling, sat out there. 
I think, hell, I think Mark will tell you that even paddling in a wetsuit that fits you really well is different. It's you know? still more tiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not. But, yeah, yeah. It's not fun. Just but getting through the break, and then once I got out there, I was so winded. And I'm sitting in kelp. And I was like, ew. And then I'm like, <laughs> and then the board is too small because I was fatter back it's then. It's not floating. Again. And then yeah. so I was way oh, ass down. Yeah. Uh, and then just sitting out there, and I'm like, I'm, I can't go in because I'm, oh. I'm, t- I'm too winded to paddle back out. So you so just, I just sat out there and let the waves just kind of <laughs> yeah, sat move there you up and down. Waiting for a great white to Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they're here. Like, I know Florida, but I don't know this uh, ass in California. Anyway, so uh, I'll join the competition. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the next step in the resume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we need a couple small wetsuits. So uh, this is how crazy I am because uh, planning events give me such anxiety like because I'm afraid you, of things Do you going have around. anxiety for his event and you're not even doing anything? I say anxiety, but I just I start go running through my brain all the things that, that can go wrong. And then I'm seriously checking the weather and wave conditions. Uh, like, to ma- like I'm hoping that they'll be perfect. Yeah. And then how much of that... Do- matters and so, you know i won't even look at it till wednesday i don't want to know because it changes so much anyways but everyone te- my phone this week everyone's like it looks like it's gonna be good or uh, oh so or, they're doing the same oh, thing it's I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. so i wish people wouldn't help me ever <laughs> yeah. just, i wish they just leave me alone and just because there's nothing me, you uh, could do it's there's like uh, them telling you about it you're like hey uh well i obviously I, don't mean that because I, I wish people would help me but there are times when you know that they're gonna <laughs> state the obvious and they mean well when they're doing it uh, oh yeah, yeah. oh there's no waves i'm like ha, this I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Also, nothing I can do. <laughs> yeah. No matter what That's happens. That's the worst part is there's nothing you Same can do. thing with like rain in our events. Like uh, people will text me like, oh, there's a 35% chance of rain now. I'm like, what does it matter? Like it's going to happen no matter what. Yeah. We can't cancel it at this point. Rain so or shine. It is what it is. Sometimes so. my wife will do that. Wow. Like, you know, I'll be laying in bed knowing that our event's going to be rained out or something <laughs> horrible is going to happen. And she'll turn to me and she'll be like, it's going to be like the first, like I'm opening my eyes for the day. And I open my eyes and she's like, 60% chance. <laughs> I'm like, what the? Why are you doing that? Yeah, she Why? <laughs> yeah. She just whispered, just like, I'm going to start your day off like this. <laughs> But um, the reason why it's th- uh, this time of year is because the waves are better, right? Or- yeah, if February has the like this m- highest consistency, so our chances are good, and weather is normally slightly better. So it's like it's the balance of sure least amount of chance of going wrong. So, but that doesn't mean. <laughs> here's yeah. here's what I think you should do, and I uh, I think you should. I have love it when you give. Sentence I love it. <laughs> All their business uh, people advice. You should invite uh, me and Daniel, and then some other, you know, Tuttle and some other uh, whack packers yeah. to be the celebrity judges yes. of the surf competition because we have like no holy moly <laughs> because we have no idea what we're doing, and it's a horrible insult to the people competing because yeah. yeah. oh, that's oh, happened wow, before. Look, boy, <laughs> What's he standing on? Like, like me and Dane <laughs> <that> ironing board. <laughs> well, they uh, they hire celebrity judges for these competitions sometimes, where people are in the competition, like comedy competitions or other like things, oh, where they're God. they're trying like this is like a huge deal for them, and the judges don't give a damn yeah, they because they don't care. They are, they're, it's not even like they're not have and no your expertise. Judges, Vern Troyer, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so they're not even paying attention. They're Flavor getting drunk. Flav and Tracy Morgan, <laughs> and then it's like it's a total disrespect for the competitors because the judges aren't even paying attention yeah. and they have no qualification to even uh, accurately judge like we've the- been a judge before like <laughs> food competition like it was like yeah, it was like, like Maitland Maitland Eats or something and we're sitting at like some like, yeah. by the way it, like it makes me feel weird to be sitting at some table while these restaurants are bringing me food judge my food you fat king <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna judge your food I'm the fat king <laughs> like I don't wanna do that <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna do that I'm like, what nobody I should do that I'm a stupid <laughs> Radio goof. I don't. I, besides from eating food, and I eat the worst food. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, "What do I know? I don't I, know anything." Every morning, <laughs> and I I'm wake drunk up and I drink, and a, I don't care I about drink beer. A ghost Energy Sour <laughs> Patch Kid Red Berry Energy Drink. Yeah. Do you think I have good taste? Like all I'm doing is looking at my phone. Uh, I'm trying to get the money that the radio station <laughs> paid me yeah. to become for the promotion. I don't care. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat, stuff myself too early, get drunk, and the last <laughs> ten uh, like submissions, I'm not even gonna eat. <laughs> And then just pick one because yeah. I don't care. And this isn't even going to be the last thing I eat because I'm going to get so drunk at your dumb, you know, yeah. food event that I'm going to eat Taco Bell because <laughs> I'm going to eat. I'm going to be so drunk, know. and my wife will yell at me, and I'm going to eat Taco yeah. Bell. I'm not taking it seriously. I'm not mm. actually putting thought into it. I'm I just don't, picking I one randomly. I will never remember this. <laughs> yeah. I am consuming so much alcohol at your stupid event that I won't remember this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're hoping for rain. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So, uh, do you have like professional judges? Please say celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have an open. No, no, uh, no. We are like legit judges. They're gotcha. all like qualified and and. I, it's weird with surf like competitions because I like it's one of the. I feel like it's very specific to what the surfers are doing that the layman doesn't know. Like, like all you have I to see select is a wave, which I feel like it all begins with that, and that's the crazy okay. part. Cause, Especially Florida, cause, cause, yeah, because this is all I see. I see them catch the wave. I understand that, right? And once they start riding the wave, all I well, see them doing all, is you catch a wave. You're sitting on top of the world. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> all I see them do is just continually whip the top, <laughs> the whip the top, and comb then, your hair, comb your hair, <laughs> comb your hair, comb your hair. And, and then I'm like, oh, they're going the wrong way. Oh, they came, they whip back, and then they whip, and whip. then they go, and then they do a uh, three sixty. Well, behind the wave. <laughs> 360 behind yeah. the wave. 360 behind the wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And sometimes, like, and probably this is rare, they'll actually like jump off the wave and do like a 180 or whatever, or a 360, land back on the wave. But I feel like that's stunting and that doesn't happen. Like, yeah, actually, it'll happen. Like, maybe you'll, see it this, you'll see it this weekend. Oh, really? No, yeah. Like, they'll actually do a 360 yeah, land yeah, back yeah, all for sure. Right. I think you guys I had a video out where something where there was a guy. Yeah, doing I think there's one. a couple on that one. But, yeah, yeah. but is that like, is that considered like, oh, wow, we did the three? Like, that's like uh, huge, and they get a uh, huge. It'd be that. huge if you and I did it. I mean, for these kids, it's like pretty easy. No, stuff. it's a good. How, how do you judge the whip? Like, which whip is better than the other whip? Like, they're all doing the same whip yeah, at the top. Over <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know it sounds stupid, but I don't know about surfing, so that's like, why you shouldn't be a judge. <laughs> <laughs> Please make me a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be Please. drunk. Oh, I thought this was a tryout. I'll, 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 I'll be asleep at the yeah. table drunk. <laughs> Who do the weekend at Bernie's sunglasses? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'll wake up and you'll be like, hey, you got to put down some scores. Then I'll just go down Christmas tree. No, this is what we've done before where he'll be like, he'll be like, oh, what did you put for all those? Any comedy oh, I'll copy competition. Down. And I'll just copy what I say. <laughs> you just copy it. Yeah, I yeah. think a lot of that kind of goes. A lot of judges are always looking at the other. <laughs> no, okay, right, right. So everybody's doing <laughs> even it. the yeah. real ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but like, what is the like considered a better whip than the other ones? Like, uh, uh, just direction. You know, direction of your board. Like twelve o'clock, like straight up, is always better than yeah halfway. And you want to see in like, landing and finishing it. And so when you start the whip, having it totally twelve o'clock is. Can we not call it a whip? Uh, the whip. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Are you talking about like on a like. I'm thinking dirt bike whip right now. No, no uh, we're, a snap like a. a snap, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just like, yeah. <laughs> you just stand there. What do you call the it? You call it a snap whip? <laughs> That's just called what a whip. What do you want to call it? I just know, no, no, <laughs> give no, it a name. No. So now we know. You got to know for Saturday. So when if you're, the surfer goes it's down, it's down a the, whip. It's you're surf, whipping the time. You're like, yeah, it's a wave whip. Yeah. So if the wave, if the surfer goes down the wave and he takes his board and he goes twelve o'clock up and then he whips it down, you want to call it a. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Just a whip, a twelve o'clock whip, a twelve o'clock whip. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. It's official. Okay. The twelve o'clock <laughs> whip. Um, and how many runs? Like, is there? You get once you catch a wave. They're that's heats, your wave. Sir, they're heats. Yeah. Oh, okay. Explain it to me, no. Daniel. No, I don't <laughs> know. I'm just trying. Well, to what's the heat? Is that like no, a, it, Mark Villain can explain oh, it? It's his contest. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, uh, they get 20 minutes. 20 minutes, they get uh, as many waves as they want to catch for the most part in that 20 minutes, and then they keep the top two scores. Gotcha. Um, I feel like... Um, I feel like this is too loose for you. You get out there, you be like, I got 20 minutes. I'm just sitting here for 19 in the last minute. I'm going to whip my bike off. <laughs> right? Well, it's like the last run, I feel like, the most memorable out of the 20 minutes. Like, you have a good uh, first couple runs. it depends on Mother Nature, too. What if, it, what if yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. set rolling through? It's tough. Yeah, that's, that strategy is a that's big part That's why I think it. it's really yeah. cool. Like, the selection of the wave part always, like, gave me mega, probably the first time I figured out I had anxiety. I never surfed, never did a competition ever. But I would go to them, and I'd see friends of mine do it, and it always blew my mind, like, getting out there like how do you it's like a it's like a big god dice roll of your waves and then it's up to you to pick out of what's on the table what's good right and even where to paddle out on the beach correct so. oh have you seen those um it's kind of like um a wind surfboard but it's a kite that you're holding and it looks kind of semi-inflatable like uh, it's like rigid but inflate and and I've seen people do it only on hydrofoils, but they're holding like kiteboarding, right? It's like a hybrid, like it's a newer thing that's out. Like you're saying, it's like a handheld sail. I don't know much about it, so I'm not. Oh, okay, because I've seen. I know what it is. I've Are seen... you holding the sail closer yeah. to your arm so there's not strings up in the no, air? No, no, it's not. It's not um, like uh, kiteboarding. Yeah, it's like uh, wind surfboarding, basically. But instead of it being attached to your board or whatever, it's a handheld thing. And what I've seen it on a like hydrofoil, a, like a like the shade you put in. 
your car to keep the sun out. Like an old Batman, to... like it's... a 60s Batman <laughs> accessory. Like, yeah, yeah. Like he's getting... Like, like, yeah, you got like a, to... like a shield. It's a, but it's a huge wing. It's like 12 foot wide. Wow. Like it's big. And the, that, and, and the people that I've seen do it are on a, like a hydrofoil where it... And they're able to like surf the waves and then turn around and then go back up the set. But like That's while nuts. using the wind. So it's like perpetually surfing without having to paddle. But they're doing a hydrofoil with this wind. Those things are best kite. before everybody has one because when you're the only one out there with a the new technology, <laughs> you are a future boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's a good feeling. And everyone's like, ooh, look at that future boy. And you're like, I'm doing the future. <laughs> it's the best. It's Oh, man, but, you're, you're, you were doing it about two and a half years ago, maybe three, when you first got your one wheel. You know, like now around Baldwin, everybody's got a one wheel. But you were doing it. Describe well, that to me. What's that feel when you're a future in like that? It, it's good, right? The problem is the one wheel is too easy, so everybody could do it. This like this uh, wind surfboard hybrid is thing. Is it expensive? It looks well, not only expensive, but it looks hard. Yeah, like, it does so look it looks hard. like it takes a long time, and then that will uh, not make it so popular because people are too fat. And lazy now to these do it. hydro <laughs> these hydrofoil boards, where it's like you have like a little engine or something in the water, or a little it, fin in the water, yeah, and then so it like comes a, up the foil, and then there's a stick and a board on. And top then there's there. a board on top. <clears throat> Why? Because I've seen the ones on Facebook you where pump. you're just standing on the board and you're and you're just riding it around and you have like a little remote control in your hand. Well, there's the call it e-foil, I think. Yeah, yeah. The powered ones are super cool. Then there's ones that are non-powered that you just leg pump it to go uh, and you could just pump it with your legs, but obviously you get tired out. So yeah, it's only hard. a certain yeah. amount of time. But then it's like you attach it to the or you have some sort of uh, sail that you're holding onto, and then that pulls you, and then th there's the energy, you know? But I, I'm with you. Just go with like why, motor. Why, <laughs> why do you awesome. need the foil? You could just surf. I mean, why couldn't <laughs> you just be flat in the water? It Because the, any sort of uh, waves... So all the chop and everything, and you can stay above that. it. Gotcha. Yeah, you're above the, any sort of chop, and therefore... Above the chop. Um, it's a smooth ride. Uh, if you had like just... Because there's powered surfboards and stuff, but in not and other than smooth conditions, I'm sure it's gonna knock you off fast, or it'll be not fun to ride. You know? Anybody ridden? You ridden one of those hydrofoil boards? No, I haven't actually. I I've never seen one. You know, there's they're a, cheaper. They used to be like twelve thousand when they first came out, and now they're like the electric, five grand. Electric ones are like yeah, right, like yeah. six. Seven, there's a guy yeah. over here where you know when you're when you're cutting Orlando in half and going through the city. Yeah, yeah. On that lake to the right, where uh, you'll see him riding like once a week. You'll see him if you're going towards the city. You'll see him. Just cr and he's out there a lot. And yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. one, and he's got one of the ones that's a little wrist strap and then a little remote. And he just wears a live vest and he rips. He just goes around. The it looks really fun. It does, yeah. I, I've uh, my dream is to own one one day and just go like I want a one wheel with that to the lake and then go <laughs> out and ride the lake. You and know, and then come I'll, back and then run wheel back, dude. With the electric motors, like it's becoming where the you know small electric motors you can put it on virtually anything and then uh, you know. Don't have to do any work. <laughs> like this, it was, that's what it's all going Never to. Never use your legs <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Swally. Yeah. Um, so, uh, where exactly is the surf competition? I mean, and we're in Satellite Beach, but what is the area everybody's going to be setting up at? So, it's at Pelican Beach Park, which is okay. like kind of right in the middle of Satellite Beach. Uh, if you go over Pinita Causeway, it's maybe three miles south. And we'll have like 60 vendors set up there. There's food trucks, we'll have beer truck, um, all our stuff, coffee. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then the competition, the surf competition starts when? First heats are at 7 in the morning. Okay. Uh, but it, it goes all day. It really gets busy after like 11 o'clock. Okay. okay, great. Awesome. And then people could just hang out on the beach and watch the competition. Oh, yeah. You can bring your own beer, too. You can buy beer at the event. You can literally just walk up and sit on the beach. Cause that, everything is free to go because that's Love cool it. like you know you go to the beach you have some beers you set up your chairs and you just watch surf competition and uh if you've never seen surfing it's really fun to watch like it is one of those things where uh old men like me can sit there and watch it and little kids get obsessed with it like may yeah. and i will sit at a <clears> seafood <throat> restaurant if we can find one that's near a break and just sit there eat sandwiches and watch surfing all day long it's so fun yeah, yeah. The, the little kids are the best ones to watch but there's like little, you know, seven, eight year olds out there, yeah. and no egos. They're just out there yeah. just for fun. Yeah, yeah. seven. Well, I'm gonna tell Tommy like, look up. <laughs> <laughs> seven year olds out there surfing. Just leave him alone. Just no, let him find his way. What do you think? <laughs> no. He don't want to know your hydrofoil <laughs> garbage. He wants <laughs> what he wants. You can tell him all your surf stories and get excited. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> my arms got tired. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, we were testing. My son, no I'll, wonder. I'll tell you this. We were putting up our tent because I really want my daughter to enjoy camping, and we were testing our new tent by putting it up just to make sure that we knew how to put it up. And about mm, 35 seconds into putting up the tent, Maisie went inside and got on her iPad. And then I looked at Andrea and I said, this is why we shouldn't have bought this. This is a bad idea. So there you kid. Go. Again, it's <laughs> yeah, all of it. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> Eighth annual locals only uh, skate and surf competition uh, this weekend. Like I said, the Tom and Dan tent will be out there. We're going to have giveaways. Mm -hmm. Me and Daniel are going to go out on Saturday. It's going to be awesome, man. And at Satellite Beach, uh, Mark, thanks so much for coming in. I appreciate it, guys. Um, and uh, we're going to be doing some cool stuff in the spring with Villain. Uh, we got some new merch coming out. Yeah, and, so uh, come hang out with us. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, take a quick break and be back with more A Corporate Time right after this. Welcome back to A Corporate Time. Let's do some voicemail. All right, buddy. If you'd like to leave us a voicemail message, super easy to do. one 844 That's one 844 tom and dan Call that number and leave your voice recording on there. Uh, I go through them about once a week. Now, the other way you can do it is to get our free app. All of our content's on there. There's a little button on our app that says Mediocre Messages. If you hold that down and talk into your phone, it will send me a voicemail message, much like this one right cheer yo bdm neil here maybe my first call of 2022 or first voicemail but uh daniel was talking about wawa lines and the lines and all that stuff yo wawa line is crazy <laughs> and like just because like you could be standing there and then the person walks up and Almost everybody wants nicotine. They always say like, oh, a nicotine on this side. It's nicotine on the left, Neil. They go, nicotine <laughs> on the left. Like yeah. that, they yell it, which is embarrassing that they say <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. I don't think they, look, I was a smoker. I know what it's like to be a smoker. I appreciate smokers. I'm not one anymore, but I remember what it's like. I don't think they should be shamed for that. I don't think that there should be two lines. I don't think there should be, like, I think if they sell it, you should sell it in both lines. Mm -hmm. My only beef is when a new line opens, the person that's in line gets to go first. You don't just get to run from the back and sprint to the front and you you Agreed. suddenly beat. But that's on the person. It, it is. It is. But I also, see, I just want to give some concessions here. I do not believe that if you're in while buying cigarettes that you should have to go through one line. All lines are open for everything that's in the store. See, so if you want cigarettes, you get them out of any line. Look, I'm 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 a good person. I want everybody to get what they want to get. My only beef with Wawa is they always open up a new line, and the person is such a a p word. They don't want to say like no 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 no. We we take them in the the order that they were standing here. Then this person, come on sir, and then you just that's all you got to do. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Just run a queue. <clears throat> But they don't want to do that. I also think they don't care. That's a big part. No. <laughs> you know, like, what do they care? They, uh... I mean, I just think that, <clears throat> like, that is, there, there have to be more people like me that have decided, you know what, I'm not going to use Wawa because they do not instill in their employees the ability to run a line. <laughs> and until they do, I will be more than happy to use 7-Eleven where my ladies that I see every morning know how to run a line. In fact, they command the line. Let me ask you guys this, and I totally <laughs> forgot about uh, bringing this up on a Friday free show, but uh, when I pull up to my 7-Eleven and I see, and there's no one else there, like let's say I'm Wait, going- Wait, you, you, you know what? That just raised your credibility with me, knowing you're a 7-Eleven man like me. It's just, Us 7-Eleven men got to stick together. It's just closest to my house, and it's like it's okay. my, uh, it's right. you know. You made the right choice. When I pull up there, and there's nobody else there, and the uh, the cashier is out smoking a cigarette, and I- I let them finish their cigarette. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. Yeah. So then like- You're a good man. You know what? We're on the same page when it comes to this. I usually take, go a little slower because I don't want to be the guy that forces them back inside. So I pull up, but the problem is that as soon as I pull up, they, they're like, oh God. And I, I see the mouth and like, I, it always happens just when I light up. And then they go start putting it out and I no, feel no, no, like no, saying- no. I'll, I'll wait, <laughs> but they won't do it because they'll get in trouble. Yeah, I'm they'll sure. get in trouble. They're on camera. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like they do that move, and I used to. There's hate nothing this. I can do. I, like, I tell them to, and I'll get up and be like, "Hey, I'm gonna wander around inside for a while. You could uh, take a couple more. What are drags. you waiting on a prescription? It's not Walgreens. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly what you I'm know, getting. Two Diet Mountain Dews, thousand. spicy Slim Jim, <laughs> well, maybe a snacks. donut. I'm just telling them that, so I'm, right. I'm telling you them don't like, don't hey, rush them. Don't rush. But you already went too far. You you don't get out of your car. They put yeah, but even. 
people when I pull up, they'll start putting out their cigarette, and I feel like, I'm like well, they back up. <laughs> <laughs> circle, circle the block. Put it in reverse. Put it in reverse. <laughs> this is what or pull up at the pull up at the <laughs> gas pump, so they're not sure if you're going to go in or not. Okay. But, okay. How do you guys but, feel but about they, this? They already also, you're a psychopath. Just initiated the. <laughs> We're both psychopaths. But that's that's why I feel like it's worse. They already they already started putting their cigarette out. So if I back up, your horn at them. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Yeah. Keep if I, smoking. Yeah. In anyway, so it happens a, like fairly often actually. Like I they interrupt do the move. people smoke breaks fairly often. They do the move, and I hate this move where they take the cigarette, and they probably only burn down about three millimeters, but then they they tap it to put it out on the brick of the Seven Eleven. They yeah. tap it to put yeah, it out, so and then they go and, it, yeah. and then they sit it there. Well, one corner of that cigarette in the circle where it was burning, one little part is still burning, and it's putting all that stinky old stale smoke <laughs> in the cigarette. So when they go to relight it again, that first toot is going to taste horrible. And yeah. you did that to them. <laughs> you did that, sir, because you I'll, don't have any self control of opening your damn door when you get to the Seven Eleven. I was going to ask you when I used to smoke. There is something about smoking a relit I hated cigarette. It, it I tastes hated it. different. Yeah. Is that true, or is that just? I would in my never mind? do it. I, if it, if it, well, I would do it if it was like a milli, three millimeters down. I'd relight it, and I'd be mad, and I'd try to, <laughs> yeah. and toot out the other one. So it's a first couple, a couple poofs. Yeah. that's what tastes bad. I've been tastes wanting it so bad lately, dude. I'm this close. I was this close <laughs> over start the weekend of start smoking again. <laughs> Because I was like, that'll make me cool. <laughs> That's what I need. I I need it. No one Let's start it. smoking again. I'll I, smoke. Dude, nobody does it. I, when I'm driving uh, around town in my car looking around, people, everyone's smoking. And not only are they smoking, they're smoking with the windows up. Me yeah. and Andrea notice everybody in Florida the, smoke cigarettes and it's, well, cold, it's cold. So they all yeah, have the windows exactly. up and they're nothing but they got an old, they got some old ocean deck. Uh, sweatshirt on with uh, just secondhand smoke all poofed in it. <laughs> yeah. Society forced all smokers just smoke in the car now. They can't smoke anywhere. If you smoke on the streets, right. uh, yeah, like people are shaking. I don't you. agree with that. I think you should be able to smoke in the streets. It never bothered me at any of the theme parks. Walking ar- okay. They also tuck the smoking walking sections around. away. When I was walking yeah. around any theme park, Universal especially, because that one's a little more uh, uh, adult. A little more party friendly. A little more party yeah. friendly. N- never smelled second ass. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Never smelled it. No. Not in a million years. But, f- but, uh, but you know, God forbid you take your, your vape pen there and start tooting. They'll come down on you hard. Now man. I, they'll get you. I do agree with, like, indoor spaces. Yeah. Even sure. Like, yes. Well, now that the West End is smoke free, like, I was in there last it's week. It's way better. And now. I'm like, wow. Like, yeah. there's a difference. Like, yeah. Like, you know, back when you used to be able to smoke in here, it stunk. Nobody and, uh, argues with that. But if you're outside <laughs> next to cigarettes. me, like if you and I go outside and somebody lights up a cigarette, good. Yeah, enjoy your life. You know, like it ain't bothering me. Yeah, yeah. It's people get so mad. <laughs> like me smelling secondhand smoke from 20 feet away out in like uh, open air is not going to do anything no. to me. <laughs> it's Apparently not going to hurt me. It does, I guess, no, but, yeah, well, because everybody. I, it's never bothered me. I like cigarettes. You know, like yeah. I make a lot of jokes on here. And then, yeah, if I'm like at a, uh, yeah, if I'm at a When's restaurant. When's the last time you've smoked one? Dude, I can't even put a number. I on. think the last Tom and Dan cruise, <clears throat> I smoked half a cigarette in the casino. And I was like, this is disgusting. <laughs> put it out got the last uh, one i definitely I- smoked the last time dan cruise but i've smoked after that like uh in some scenario where you know me and crystal were out and like um we're sharing a cigarette or something like you get wasted uh you know crystal will still sneak one every once in yeah. a while it's her like guilty pleasure yeah. and i, I thought it was like I, fine yeah, I one every that. once in a while nothing wrong fine. with that at all yeah yeah and it's like i mean even if you had one cigarette a day and you could have the discipline to do that you're fine yeah. uh, you know no, I, I i i it would be hard pressed for any doctor to be like oh that's going to you know they could say like you know it's not the best for you but it's like one like one candy bar a day or i don't know i could not tell you the last cigarette i had but i was at the old house have they made them more healthy Cigarettes? No. <laughs> like, I mean, everyone says the American spirits are more healthy, but it's like no, no. they're just more <laughs> expensive and don't taste as good because they the, don't have as many of the. They're all the. But... Does American Spirit make a menthol cigarette? I believe they do. But is it like an all natural menthol? I want the ones that used to. I used to like a menthol cigarette because the first two. I loved a menthol. Oh, <laughs> so me trashy. and Sam are trash, trash. Oh, so good. They're mm. so good. My God, Those marble smooths. Oh yeah, It'll tear oh, up your throat, I remember but those. it's a good time. Yeah, but that was like smoking a that was like smoking Peppermint. Noxzema, man. <laughs> like you throw up uh, those smooths in, and that first toot was like s- burning scope. 
Natural Ooh. American Spirit Light Green Menthol Mellow. Yeah. I don't. That's I want. Menthol. It, but it's got. I just look at the Marvel Medium. It's got to have that hit. Yeah, I'm familiar with the Medium. Yeah, Blue Pack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I remember the Blue Pack. I did wides for a little while, and then I decided that my body style should not be the same shape as my cigarette, <laughs> and uh, and I went away. But yeah, I think the last one I smoked was probably. How long ago? I've been in this area for like almost 10, 11 years, so probably like more Yeah, than that. you never 15 like 15 years ago. And because again, you have the mentality of stringing together consecutive days and mean something to you. So smoking one cigarette would screw that up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, Plus it like it really does uh, I got to a point where I was smoking so much that it just like once I th- like kind of wrote down like I was like three packs a day when you like really start to just like dig into what that is yeah yeah. it's real gross but it would take a lot for you to break that streak that's what I'm saying yeah. like you know it, it, it makes a difference for you it's why you're good at working out consecutively but then also quitting things consecutively yeah it's not a bad thing you know uh for me it's like I'll look at, I'll still look at, I quit smoking at, uh, you know, whatever it was 10 years ago, all those ancillary small cigarettes I smoked, I don't count because I look at like a day that I was like, con- like smoking regularly. And that when I quit that, like smoking a couple cigarettes here and there, you know, I agree. I, I, I imagine there'll probably be one day where I'm like either cut back or quit drinking and that'll be the day I quit drinking every day. And then right, go to right. like oh, one drinks here and there. Yeah, and then I'll dabble. consider dr- quitting to drink because, uh, you know, it's just so much. Anyway, I enjoyed the but I enjoyed the like kind of the ritual of it, you know, like to me, it was probably less of a, a addiction to the actual cigarette and the nicotine and more addicted to they're very much. So and I get addicted to processes. So for the cigarette to me, especially when I was like writing music or writing a song or when I was in a band, there was a process of like having an ashtray, having the cigarette, having a drink, having a notebook, uh, talking and while smoking, yeah. you know, oh, yeah, like yeah. the communicating while smoking, uh, <laughs> then, then, Oh, that's good. That's good. And then getting another cigarette and, and smoking it at like, I don't know. Like there's like a, I kind of tie it all together as an experience, not necessarily that I needed the cigarette. So yeah. when are we doing smoke cast? Why am I making it? <laughs> am I making what? Where we all just smoke a pack of cigarettes? I don't think I could anymore. I just don't. I, I don't think I could anymore. There are times though, like what man? I was standing at some barbecue restaurant the other day, or outside of it. I think Andrew and I were picking up some. Um, we're picking up to go at um, Pig Floyd's, and a guy walked by, and he must have been smoking the same type of cigarette that I used to smoke because it smelled very much like. A Marlboro Menthol Light. Yeah, yeah it yeah. had like a d- very distinct smell. And man, when it got me, I was like, "Oh, I want one." I was just like, "I was like, I want one. I want one so bad." I, it's weird. I've gotten to the point where uh, I don't even have the one anymore. I don't even want it. Um, and it, I think it's like THC has helped that because yeah. of that. Like, I enjoy the ritual of that. You know, you know, I enjoy the ritual of like coming home. And I think a lot of people, whether it be like alcohol, cigarettes, marijuana. Um, sex. It could be anything that you truly enjoy, or like meditation. Like there, you know, there's there's people that enjoy the process of it. Like yeah, yeah. you know, getting yeah, yeah. out the tray, getting your marijuana and putting it on there, separating <clears throat> it, getting out your rolling paper, rolling a perfect joint, you know, and making it look the way you want it mm-hmm. to look, and then putting on the show that you want to watch. You know, like all of that adds to it's. It, you know, I, I bet you if you really dug into the study. The, the actual ritual of doing it is, is probably as, as important as the actual, you know, CBD, THC, whatever's in the chemicals then, in it that you're ingesting. Then you, if you go back farther or far enough, then you see some real true disgusting parts of society we used to live through, which is like you could openly smoke at like breakfast diners. And I remember going on to planes, my dad. <laughs> no, in planes, in trains. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, I remember going to like, breakfast with for, my dad in Deland, Florida at a place called Mr. Lucky's Cafe. And you'd sit it, at the front and smoke. Everybody's smoking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for whatever reason, it's just like break, Like when you go to a diner for breakfast, for whatever reason, I, like I, I associate it with it being like early. And, I, like, and clean I, and healthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, <laughs> or just, you know, even if it's not healthy, it's just like, I don't want to be sitting in cigarette smoke. Like cigarette smoke was always like a bar. Yeah. You know, like, it's just it, such a powerful. Smell. But if it didn't have that, yeah, if it didn't linger, <laughs> smoking. Them, oh, I, man. I, I mean, here's a here's a strange hot take. But if they came out tomorrow and said we've invented a cigarette, you'll still be addicted to the nicotine. But it, it, you know, the carcinogens are like negotiable, and you're not going to smell like it. I probably go back to smoking cigarettes. Well, that's vape, basically. <laughs> you know, you know like but I mean, warm. like I enjoyed, but I I did more so than the vape. I I enjoyed the 
the burning of it, you know, yeah. the... I don't know. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I yeah. hate saying that. Because it was a but... process, right? Vaping, you can just take a couple toots and every put it once back in a while. Yeah, the cigarette, it's like you're watching the smoke filter through like, the air. Also, you couldn't really, I mean, you could put it down in the ashtray, but that's an old school thing. Like, yeah. that's my mom. And Nobody like, did uh, that. I held it in my hand. My pop-up, yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, we weren't an ashtray smoking generation. I feel like. No, we smoked fast. Like, my mom, you, uh, when she, like, smoked, you'd have cigarettes in ashtrays. Oh, my mom had the... an ashtray that was, like, two feet long <laughs> and ceramic <laughs> and beautiful. It was ornate. But when I smoked, I rarely put my cigarette down in an ashtray. Until you put it out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You always just hold it, right? Until yeah. I got to go back in the 7-Eleven yeah, yeah, yeah. and ring somebody <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, All back there is that. a commitment that you don't have with vaping. Right. Like vaping You're you, dedicated you to that cigarette until yeah. it's done. You're right. Yeah, vaping what is a like quitter's Cigarette half. vapor is like oh it's yeah, got yeah. a pause button. Your cigarette's got a pause button. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's not fair. That's like when they yeah. added the pause button to Peloton. I was mad as hell. I was like, like that's not fair. You now you're yeah. allowing people to cheat out of yeah. the workout. Yeah. Once once you light up, you should be committed for a <laughs> minute right. and a half yeah. to hold this burning stick. <laughs> minute, <laughs> a minute and a half. Are you crazy? I can rip through one in 42 seconds. <laughs> yeah, the two left. Ah. All right. Bye bye. Welcome back to a corporate time. Let's do some more voicemail. The hottest topic of the week is the reoccurring character that we have on the show now, known affectionately as Kratom Carey. Okay, all right. um, I'll just give you. He a, emailed me this morning. Oh, well, <laughs> did he? Oh, oh, his manifesto was it a circle <laughs> email? Here's the first piece of audio we have. Is Kratom Carey the new Bubba Whoopass Wilson? Okay, we got that. Mm. Uh, no, he's not. Yeah, yeah. Not really any similarities. Um, not really. Mm. Other than maybe age, possibly. But mm -hmm. um, And then this one. Tom, Dan, Sam. Uh, so I was listening to a podcast out of L.A. And they were talking about Kratom and kombucha tea is the big thing there now. So, again, you're ahead of the curve. Uh, kombucha and kratom tea is starting to get served there and that's what people are going out for yeah this guy seems to think that because we're having kratom carry on uh you know we're talking about kratom kombucha we're talking oh, about kava trendsetters are... yeah that we're trendy <laughs> when it comes we are the health trend podcast Again, kombucha is gross, kratom's mm. gross. So it makes sense that uh, they're pairing together. Although I feel like the kratom people are, are in it for the buzz, and the kombucha people are in it for the health, health reasons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kombucha so people. Different. Yeah. Okay, kombucha people have yeah. IBS and have diarrhea. Right. Yeah. And the only thing they're searching for is just some relief. Yeah, yeah. From their constant. Well, and, some would say, you know, Kratom Carey, he had a neck surgery. He needs some yeah, relief, right? Well, which is worse, diarrhea or neck surgery? I would argue <laughs> the diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you preferred diarrhea. I do, <laughs> but only certain people can handle it. You know, a samurai prefers swords, but not everybody can be left alone with one. You know what I mean? You got to be a pro. Yeah, I, like I feel like a kombucha person will <laughs> take some kratom in their kombucha every once in a while. Whoa. But, but a kratom person so, has to have their kratom <laughs> yeah, in yeah, order yeah. to staple <laughs> on top of a roof. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like, do their job, yeah. A, a kratom person is not going to just be like, well, you can give me the kombucha, no kratom. Like, always yeah, yeah. kratom. <laughs> like, in but fact, here's what I do know. If you hand kombucha to a person <laughs> addicted to kratom, they'll say, is there kratom in that? That's what I do know. <laughs> and how addictive it is, I don't know. I don't uh, know. I felt pretty addicted to it. <laughs> no. I mean, I punted it in the trash when I got mad at yeah, it. Yeah, but you were sad. You were sad. I wasn't sad. You told Butler to take the trash out immediately so no. you wouldn't dive in there and no. snort it all up like Scarface. <laughs> no. Once you guys were- You were Kratom Scarface. No. Tell everybody. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, you were. I was just the last one. I didn't even know you everybody stopped. Said, say hello to you... my green little friend. <laughs> no one made the official proclamation that you were officially done with it. It was just like- Because eh. we all weren't addicted like yeah. you. No. We were no. just like, eh. Okay. Don't every raise day, your, every morning when it was Kratom. Kratom time. Snuck it. Raise Kratom your hand. time. <laughs> Why everybody started doing he it at the same yell, time? Stop. Kratom time. Raise your hand if you got if you tried to be as quiet as humanly possible, <laughs> opening the Ziploc bag and getting the spoon so people wouldn't hear your addiction. Raise your hand. God damn it. Um, one me. I wasn't one being me. perfectly me. quiet. I, I was just like, I'm hey, like, I'm not going to announce it. Here's the I'm difference doing. between you and me, Eminem, Dr. Dre. It was, just, I it was am, just you and Lee for a while there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm wide open with my addiction. I'll do it in front of anybody. So I would do my kratom in front of you guys. Well, I told him you the, better do it too. Or <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's like you have to, weird gay yeah, gaslighting. Kratom uh, brothers. I can't be the only one. They had a strange relationship. 
I didn't know everybody stopped until one day. Well, I was you like, you, you guys hadn't you, done it for so a long time. So subconsciously you were trying to do it quiet just yeah. to not interrupt us? And you, they started complaining I about how much Kratom door. was I'd everywhere. I'd be like, are you in the Kratom door? <laughs> <laughs> it is a messy addiction. It's everywhere. That it powder gets everywhere. It doesn't have to be. If you just put it in a Tupperware and you put the same spoon in there, right. it's a singular right. thing. When Daniel the, was doing it, there was a, there was more organization. And then when he, uh, when he bailed, then well, me and Lee was a Kratom everywhere. The, here's, where it went, here's where it got sideways. Is when I had to exit it, because I went to the doctor. The doctor's like, "You got to quit this stuff. It's uh, tearing you apart." Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's, it's killing you, man. So no, I, he just uh, told you that. I'd like to see that doctor <laughs> tell him a, give him a piece yeah. of my mind. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god! Like, what do you Karen. know? He went full Karen. What do you get? Where's your evidence? I'll show you my own evidence that I found on the internet. Look how great I feel. Look at this evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me dancing. Look how good I dance. I did have a couple episodes after I worked out. <laughs> what like, were these episodes? Where his heart would stop. <laughs> I, would feel, I was like, oh. Remember the time no. the ambulance came on the side of the road? His wife called the ambulance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he showed up in it. He showed up in an ambulance at the at a charity event. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, he's like, likes for the ride, gosh. And oh, let me get my kratom. Had a kratom mustache. <laughs> <laughs> He showed no, up. No, I never he took got him from the office. <laughs> I, I drew the line there. But I was you like, I'm not taking this here. home. I call you one time. You drove by here, and I no. saw the alarm went off, and it was only off for 35 seconds, which means he ran in, did a scoop, and then drove to meet like his family somewhere. <laughs> okay, there may have been one time I did that, <laughs> but it was an emergency. The truth comes out. <laughs> it was out. an emergency. And then, like, emergency. and then I texted him, I'm like, what's wrong, buddy? And you're like, had to poop. And I'm like, I know that. Uh-huh. You're getting a scoop. Yeah, and then I was like, had this. to poop, getting a scoop. I was like, this Amber was watching every moment of what I'm doing. My whole life. I'm, Can't I'm not, get any peace. I'm gonna get up there and spray paint the uh, camera black. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the movies. The joke's on you. You go up there, you move the panel. My, I'm already there. <laughs> like I'm in the roof. <laughs> I'm in the roof. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh my god! Anyway, but kratom, yeah, it was gross. It, and the pills that they made, those didn't work. We bought yeah. those; those don't work. Yeah. You had to take like twenty, and then yeah, yeah, it was too many. Yeah, well, they, because the scoop, and this is what I was going to tell you that, that when I was doing it, you would take this, you take a heaping scoop, you put it on a piece of paper, <laughs> then you take the piece of paper, <laughs> no, like a goodie powder, <laughs> yeah, like a goodie <laughs> powder, you and you would yeah, powder, yeah. This is why <laughs> this is why it was clean. The then way we had I, the kratom paper there yeah, that would, lasted until and Daniel then Tom would be like, "Where's the kratom paper?" And I'd be like, "You guys use the same paper?" Yeah, yeah, this is pre-corona. This is when the world was back to normal. I mean, yeah. we'd eat each other. We're, yeah, and it's know, like we using drinking the, after each other. It's, it's like using the same heroin needle. <laughs> it's yeah, it's fun. It's like when you're in these <laughs> scenarios, you just do whatever you right. need to do to get your fix. Yeah, yeah. So I would take my piece of paper, I take the heap and scoop and put it on there, and, and then the I'd, stains of computer paper green. So you gotta yeah, take so you gotta switch, switch it out yeah. every week. You gotta switch it out, and then you'd lean it, and then you, I hated when Lee did it because he's he had wet lips, so he'd, he'd get the paper wet. <laughs> but you put the turn around, dude. And you put it in, and you tap tap tap, and it slides down into your mouth, and then you take a big scoop of water and you squash it down and then you're like ha huh? and then you're like let the fuse baby and then you wait and it's Dung! And then a tiny little pain pill firecracker goes off, and you're like, "Woo!" And then you're like, "All right, I'll Did, see you in about three hours." Then you have explosive diarrhea. Oh man, oh. You're almost immediate. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's bad. One scoop will make you poop. <laughs> that it was when, that was when I cleared out the office. That was that kratom years. And the kratom years. Kratom years. To make that a leap because it was. You had to take. A it was rotting me out of the inside. It was, I, that, who knows what this is? Also, when we trained. Who knows when what When uh, Lee left, nobody knows. Huh? And I got hired. Uh, oh. That entire desk was full of crazy. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, yeah. that was. It was just we stained at, green at, on the inside. At one point, we, all the crevices. At one point, we just abandoned him with the addiction. Yeah. And we're just like, this is you. <laughs> this is your life now. I had to bleach that entire thing. We, no, when I punted it in the trash. And again, I didn't realize the memo wasn't out that everybody had taken a hard stance against it. I didn't, I've did. i never taken a hard stance against it. And everybody was uh, like, uh, I didn't they take listened hard, no. to the drawer. He did mention that his doctor told him he should you're, stop. You're misunderstanding. Yeah, but I was like, I'm not, I'm not saying I never took a hard stance. I said if anybody wants to do it, that's fine. I just found it odd that I'd be sitting in here reading my emails and I'd hear like. I don't think <laughs> I realized how bad it got because I wasn't hired full time. Then I was only here on Fridays. Do so you remember bad? Well, do you it remember sounds the, like it was an everyday thing. Do you remember the <laughs> shouting match that well, Tom well, and Butler an got thing. into? I don't about the kratom. I don't think I was here for that. Tom and Butler shouting match to get no, the kratom, and Tom said, "Give me my s," and held him by the throat. <laughs> No, oh God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he'd go up there. Was, uh, yeah, but one day he yeah. came in a little late and Daddy no. was fiending for it. <laughs> no, never. You give it to me! <laughs> 
No, no, I want to no. go pick up your kratom that you grifted from that sponsor. Yeah. Well, I didn't yeah. want to buy it. Then I right. had, then I was forced to. It was and embarrassing. That was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. That's when okay. I had to look myself I in the mirror. I only bought it truck. one time. I only bought it one time. I went up there because we would we'd go in to see if you were in the club and you were using, you would have to stop by the shop. <laughs> yeah, you had to put in your uh, time. And you got yeah, you got to put in time. Are you part of the club? If you're part of the club, you can't just use. You got to also uh, go be yeah. part of the drop off. So I pull in, and it's all legal. <laughs> I pull in, and then I walk in to buy it, and then a man with copious amounts of rings in his hands would then like talk my ear off. Oh, you do a show, blah blah blah. And I'm like, I'm glad you're a client. You know, I'm bringing you on. And then yeah, they're yeah. like, uh, you think of us just like you do any of the other clients, like Streamline, right? And I'm like, yep, same thing. And yeah. uh, I get my kratom and yeah. uh, then bring you, it here. You're paying. You're like, how old is that register? <laughs> yeah, it's very old. <laughs> it, it, it comes with kratom all over. It, it. A vape shop. A very nondescript uh, bag. <laughs> like, like pool chemicals would come in. Yeah, yeah. It's like how many jewelry cases are in here? <laughs> yeah, and then we bring it, and then the labels. Here's how you knew it was a good product because the label on the outside of it was printed off of a, somebody's standard household printer, <laughs> and had a, a small <laughs> logo of a lion on it, and uh, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah. And then, without even knowing anything, I just do big old scoop right down the hatch. No big deal. Yeah, the guy said literally it. could have been anything in that bag. Anything. You could like the sky's the limit. Your imagination. What can you think of? I'm like, yes, I'm like, hey, this uh, this is uh, good. It's okay, right? He's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, All right, and then there were different. It. And then the there were different it. kinds. You'd be like, look up. Yeah, there's different strings. Look right? it up. Yeah. Look, let's go yeah. through them. Like what we're talking about. Red, there's like yeah. red, and then Todd's like, yeah, you can't do the red Sumatra. That gives me diarrhea. You got to get the green. Uh, I only ever saw you guys with the green. No, we had green, <laughs> yes. we had white, we had well, red. Yeah, we had yeah. red Travis Sumatra, got... white Sumatra. Travis would try to get crazy. <laughs> yeah, you got the red. It was like, oh, this red yeah. tastes like poison. Straight <laughs> poison. <laughs> and it was like, and then he got a yellow. Yeah, there's the Sumatra. There's Some, Borneo. No. Melee. Melee. Ming Dai. Vein Kratom. Vein Kratom. Yeah. And oh yeah, the person at the vape shop, vape shop would tell me like the differences. Yeah. They're like, "This one's made in this area of Indonesia." I'm like, "No, it's not." <laughs> 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 Whatever is in that bag, not from Indonesia. Is, no, is, I mean, I, <laughs> tiny fentanyl. I have no idea. I don't. I have no idea. Have, yeah, we and, don't. And. You don't have any. <laughs> yeah, you don't either. Nobody knows. <laughs> Who Nobody told knows. you that? Yeah, yeah. Set it on the box. In- right. Impossible for anybody to know. <laughs> All oh, right, God. so there's that one. That's um, embarrassing. We shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> I just did a whole segment. <laughs> I'll cut it out. Well, it's hopefully fine. no one listens. It's fine. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll cut it out. Not a that, big deal. Either. I'd look at someone differently if they just told that too. story. I, hey, look. It's, yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, really? You did that? <laughs> How dumb are you? Yeah. Maybe they were joking. So then yeah. they're like, ah, like I mean, every night wrong. when I'm closing my eyes, falling asleep, I'm like, I hope they think I'm joking. <laughs> every night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too. Yeah, For yeah. my whole life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then I ask Andrea sometimes. I'm like, no one really respects me, right? And she's like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Better that way. Let's try this one. Hey, guys. This is uh, BDM Josh in Avalon Park. Um, Wanted to get your take on kids' birthday parties. Mm. Uh, well, that's, you know, you came to the right place because Tom mm. and I, uh, I think we I think we know how to navigate kids' birthday parties probably better than most people More specifically, do. the uh, do you serve food at kids' birthday parties? Because, like, Tom, I know I've heard that you guys, you know, you have your pool parties for the kids. You, uh, you know, you get pizza or you get porkies or gringos, whatever. Um, I have two kids. We usually well. Just to be honest, he used to get gringos. Lately, the <laughs> three the, medium pizza. Yeah, I was gonna say the food committee got shifted to his wife in the last two years. Yeah, yeah. And she only orders what she thinks everyone's going to eat. So it's two pieces of Papa John's, but then she makes them kid cut. You know what Papa John's kid <laughs> no. cut is? It's where you cut them into strips. They're oh, like pizza sticks. Yeah, you say kid cut. If you go Papa John's kid cut, it's like where you get a pizza and then you open it up and there's nine thousand slices, but all slices are one millimeter <laughs> in uh, size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid cut. A, a, a party for their birthdays. We always have food. You know, we do like a little, like a little taco bar. We do like a nice, you know, like a nice pub sub ring or something. But there's always like a lunch or some kind of food there for not just for the kids but for the adults and everybody that that come. But Recently, uh, some of our friends have told us that they've been to, you know, some of their their kids' daycare uh, birthday parties that they've been invited to, and there's no food. 
Like, no, you know, this is, this is a party that's at like 11 o'clock on a Saturday at the, at a park and there's no food or there's just like the cake. cupcakes, yeah. but just for the kids. Or, you know, is that, is it weird? Is it weird that, that, that I think that's weird? What's the, what's the gate? What's weird is the number of noises your body makes during <laughs> one phone call. My God. Yeah. You need to have uh, some coolers with drinks and you got to have at least snacks, man. For adults. You got to have yeah. some Snyders of Hanover out there. You got to have some Golden Flake. What did you guys used to have at your birthday parties as a kid? Oh my God. Uh, my dad would do uh, regular yellow bag Lay's potato chips, mm-hmm. regular bag of- Like barbecue, right? Everybody always had the re- the plane and the barbecue. Now, my dad didn't like barbecue. Mm. Not, he thought Interesting. All, my dad thought all potato chips should be st- salted only. <laughs> salted, oh, yeah. straight potato flavor. Yeah, there's yeah. no, like anything, uh, this is going to sound really bad, but yeah. any flavored mm-hmm. potato chips is gay. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's salt just, vinegar. Yeah, that's, no, yeah, that's yeah. just, that's cool for ranch. sour cream and onion. Yeah, no. and, and what I mean by that, sour cream and onion chips are for people that enjoy dancing. That's what my dad, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and he's not that guy. He oh, just yeah. wants a standard potato flavor. Just throw some salt on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he liked, but no. If we, he wants to get crazy, go Ruffles. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, he loved Ruffles. Yeah, yeah, he loved ruffles, but not with dip. It's just you eat the chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then anything on the grill. So like hot dogs, hamburgers. Always hot dogs, yeah. hamburgers. I think forever hot dog, hamburger. That was the old school. My dad had some white shorts, super tiny sun decks. Mm. And that was gold when chain. You used to cook your guests and the kids' food, mm-hmm. and that's changed, especially you now. You still do it. And I enjoy no, that. No, I don't My know. My daughter and I both enjoy, and Amazing especially, are, enjoys it when you are behind the grill and well, we're having a grill party. That's more of a football watching that's party, fun. pool party. But the nowadays, the kids are so picky. No one's going to eat hamburger or hot dog like every like my sons don't even eat regular meat hot dogs. They like veggie hot dogs. Yeah. So, this, so like then you're. You know, you got to get so many different kinds, yeah. and then I'll, I, I bet there's a lot of kids that don't even eat hot dogs, right? Like uh, because you, you know, their parents told them like, yeah, there's there's a bunch of you know garbage meat in there. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't you know. I, I don't do sure, that. Yeah, I mean, sure. Maisie is as trashy mm-hmm. as it gets. I'm I'm kids raising, are picky. I'm raising her full Florida, and she likes a good. You know, her favorite yeah. Hebrew National raw. Ooh. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, cold? Uh, yeah, cold. The mm. 22 grams of fat per dog, you know, mm. it's about, what is that, five and a half inches long? 22 and, grams of fat, 210 calories, something like that. It used to be when you're throwing a kid's birthday party, it really was for the adults, and, like, you were putting it on for the adults, and the kids can just run around, and then they, you know, they get, they get the presents and stuff like that, but it's like, it used to be more about... Every all the adults hanging out and, and entertaining the adults, and then the kids just did whatever, right? Like in the eighties. Not, not my my parties were like kid related, but it just seemed like they expected a lot less. There were no goodie bags. That's a new thing. Hell no. There were no like oh, yeah. you'd get gifts and you'd do a gifts and cake and you'd open it at the end. Um, pretty pretty normal stuff. Chips and drinks, <clears throat> and then um like a sandwich of some sort, like a hot dog hamburger, and then a pool party, and that's what we would do. But there was no goodie bag. You did not leave with a premium. You didn't leave with slime. You didn't leave with a little paper bag yeah, with yeah. a pencil in it or a top. I feel like the kids don't even care about no. that stuff. No, either. I'm like, not. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. For? I think I'm gonna stop doing that. No, but then the other parents like no. Yeah, that's no, fine. That's why it started. Oh. Somebody started it. But that's just fine. like uh, the whole card industry, right? The greeting card industry. Somebody started it. It's unnecessary. Now I like cards, and I'll tell you why. A card. We're making up holidays just to have cards. A card, if it isn't on a fancy one, a card when you open it is nature's uh, kratom paper, and you just put your <laughs> that's kratom true. in it. You take the card, uh-huh. and it's cardstock. You put it up to your mouth, and you can tap the powder in there, and it'll last you a month. What about? I don't. I dislike the birthday parties at the actual kids' venue um, because they're too like a like, monkey joke. Trampoline yeah, park. yeah, the k- trampoline parks, the the venue birthday parties because those are real cookie cutter and it's like. You go to the place, uh, the kids are running around, and then it's like, oh, they call you into the party room. You go in there, and then they stuff everybody in there, and they bring <laughs> you some cheap pizza that some teen uh, serves you. Yeah. And then, Let's talk about that for a second. And then it's I like, all do right. not take, I do not do well taking direction from teen girls. <laughs> if girls a, specifically? No, boys and Any girls. Teen. It's an age thing. If you are 16, and you work at Monkey Joe's, and you tell me, 
hey, okay, let's all go in the conference room and eat the pizza. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh, go F yourself. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, it's yeah. weird. I, it like it doesn't. Yeah. It's it's weird. Yeah, yeah. To and me now, for the person throwing it, it's easier because it's all contained in there. They got an they, army of teen girls, which the, I've always yeah. wanted, but I don't want it. I just I the, want it to take over the world. The company does it and everything, but uh, I do en- enjoy a standard at the person's house kids' birthday party. House party. Yeah, yeah. You know what I enjoyed, and I was kind of I had it for Christmas, so I was kind of hoping I'd have it for my birthday. I kind of just wanted COVID birthday. Leave me alone. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, got it. Up. Oh, sorry, can't see anybody. Shut the door. Watch unlimited movies. Bring the cake to me. All by myself. All alone. Oh yeah. yeah. Isolated yeah. birthday. Yeah. Ton- Do it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, not allowed. Tons of people will uh, use COVID as an excuse for the rest of time to never. But now we have people. Like, yeah. Now we have like timelines like on people though. You can check and they still have antibodies. They just hate us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try this one. Drunk Uber. Hey guys, uh, Hilton Head BDM here. I got a really kind of crazy story. Um, I've let it be known that I Uber a lot now. And um, a couple hours ago, I picked up a girl from a bar that was so drunk that the bar used her phone to call the Uber for her. So that's the level of drunk we're dealing with. Um, I get to the location and the phone. I had that happen one time at a bar in Deland where they had to call me a taxi. Damn. Oh, really? That's, uh, that's <clears throat> embarrassing. I haven't had that happen. That's <clears throat> embarrassing. Last time that happened to me was at the BDM beach party. That's right. Tommy time. We've, all yeah. 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 We've all had I, it happen. I they had to walk me to the car. I couldn't even uh, use Uber on my phone because I was so uh, wasted. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. I was trying to help you navigate that. Yeah, and yeah, I, I was like, that. I don't yeah, think yeah, you. That's that a good yeah, idea. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. That was, uh, yeah. That was yeah. rough. When she looks confused, starts saying she, uh, she's not sure if this is the right place. And it's like, a, I know it's not the right place because it's like a a uh, shopping plaza at three o'clock in the morning. Oof. But she gets out and says, please don't leave yet. And so I wait because I'm not a jerk. And uh, and she when she comes back, she gets in the front seat. I say, is this not where you live? She's like, no, this is not my home. She's, you know, it's, it's this big ordeal. I start, I even started recording because she was so drunk, I was a little concerned. And um, and it was so, anyway, I get her, her address and I start to drive her home. Um. On the way, she starts making these weird sounds, like these moaning sounds. And so I'm oblivious, so I start immediately thinking, this story is crazy. I shouldn't even be telling it. Um, <laughs> she starts making these moaning sounds, and I, th- I think she might be about to throw up. So I'm like, oh, do you need me to pull over? And she's like, what? no. Like making – her responses are odd. I think people can kind of tell where I'm going with this. Uh, long story short – when I stopped the first time, she got out, ran into like the alley and put a vibrator somewhere. And then when she got in my car, guys, she started right. No. Nah, hold on. Now, I did see if this is the same person. Uh, they did post part of the video of this girl in his car. Mm-hmm. And it was pretty damn sad to watch because clearly she was messed up and... Like, if he was a POS, he could have taken advantage of that situation, you know. Oh Thank God. God he's the one that picked her up. Yeah. But, like, she was Not way good. out of it. Uh, but I don't know about that part. That last part oh, sounds... He can turn news. I think I can finish. Who I, brings a vibrator with him to the bar? I I never leave home without my vibrator. <laughs> Concealed <laughs> carry, man. <laughs> That's, also, That's a bold move. What made her do that in the Uber was... I mean, obviously, this man is so attractive that she just had to <laughs> bolt from the Uber and take care of herself. Where? And then when she got in my car, guys, she started writhing around like a worm and and had an orgasm in my front seat. And I don't know how to feel about that. And I'm not a prude, right? And it's just, I don't don't know what to think about that. I have this uncontrollable urge to tell my wife. No. um, But then I feel like I did something wrong and I didn't do anything wrong. Mm. You sound Uh, like you did something wrong. (laughs) I, I just can't believe that happened to me. Never tell your wife, because now too much time has passed. And so why have you not... We made it not... worse by playing the <laughs> audio, too. Yeah, yeah, I hope she doesn't listen. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know what that was about. I didn't listen to the whole thing. I had no idea, but... It just seems like some sort of... Um, like Prank. F- fantasy... Because girls you know. are, like, trolling the world now, too. Mm-hmm. Like, younger girl. Okay. If young boys 
will troll on the metaverse, which I see every afternoon when I jump on my VR and jump in Horizon. <laughs> And I'm walking around in there, and then little boys, like young kids, will come up to me and usually say something like, "Hey, dear, uh, I'm gonna blow up my school," or they'll say something like that, you know. No. And I know what they're doing, and I'll just like tag them and like report them because they shouldn't be on there anyway. So girls are doing this too, right? Is it possible that this girl just got kicks out of trolling this guy and making him think that she had an orgasm in his car? Right? I mean, that's possible, but if it's the same video I saw, I don't think that girl was in any position to be pranking anybody. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think she w- also, could even think about pranking somebody. And if you did do that, I mean, talk about now you're asking for some trouble if you weren't with a savory Uber driver. You know, like unsavory. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're. why would you do that? It seems like you are now opening up yeah, for some sort right. of unwanted advances or maybe she wanted the advances who knows you know yeah. what I'm saying? like if if someone's doing that and she got in the front seat of your car it seems like are you coming on to this guy i mean it's not i mean it's on the spectrum of something like right, that you right. know it's, it's closer it's to just, that than you sitting there mind, out right you're right. minding your own business now it's like yeah. you're going there you have a couple our, choices you could be on your phone on facebook driving <laughs> home or you could grab the vibrator and then <laughs> use it in the alleyway and then run back to the car and then <laughs> and moan the and have an orgasm <laughs> with you know if you don't want anybody to attack you you're yeah. not doing the right things yeah <laughs> well, oh, right oh like, this guy might attack me quick <laughs> have an orgasm in the front seat well the, yeah anyway so so, I mean, there's, you know, a, definitely a chance that's real, but it, then you're just like now venturing into you're, you're a crazy person at that point. Who does that? Right? I, crazy people. There's a <laughs> lot of crazy people or out there. if you're blacked out drunk. I mean, even then, she I was, was like. blacked out, bro. Oh, man. But then usually you can't even function. So if she was able she to was do this. Functional. Some people, yeah. though, so, when, yeah. they're, when they're on certain drugs and stuff, it's never happened to me, but I, I you know, there some people on a certain drugs, like I, I know Ambien is one of them, where you just yeah, start you doing can, you things. You can still be yeah. functioning, but you just don't have any recollection of what you're doing. That's got to be terrifying. Oh, my God. I mean, like, I, I know what it's like to wake up and not know yeah, what I did. I've but, got drunk blacked out for sure. But I've never, you know, been blacked out to the point where I had some other substance in me that, you know, I, like people were like, yeah, you were fine. And you did this, this and this. And, then, you know, that's got to be terrifying. Yeah. And I, I also haven't ever done something that was so out of my character that uh, it was mind boggling to the point where, you know what I'm saying? It's right, like usually right. just an exaggeration of doing something stupid yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty par for the course. But, I see what you're but saying. But yeah. like I didn't turn into uh, a completely different person where I'm like, I'm going to uh, sit in this Uber driver's front seat and have an orgasm. I mean, like, maybe this is not out of the norm for this girl. Maybe she's an I, exhibitionist. I don't know. That's what I, I mean. Know. That's yeah. what I have a tendency to lean to, right? Like sometimes because like I do know that 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 people are like more you know out or you know yeah but that's disrespectful to do in someone's car without asking <laughs> yeah, permission yeah. Really yeah yeah well i mean that because it goes both ways right in the same regard that you wouldn't want him to assume that he can put his hands on you you shouldn't just jump in his uber yeah. and start flashing yourself and pulling out your vibrator it's just you know be respectful although although i would <clears> like to have you as a patron in my uber it's more exciting than, you know, I'm not going to do anything. It's more exciting, though, than driving some, you know, yeah, yeah, some yeah, fat yeah. guy to work. <laughs> like, I'm driving, hey, I'm driving this fat guy to work. Yeah, oh, you yeah. drive the orgasm lady to work. Yeah, yeah. This is a better story. Yeah, it's yeah, a better yeah. story. Like, I don't, I don't want to touch it or me or anything, but it, I mean, I'll sit there. I'll turn the radio down. And I would venture a guess it would probably be the most exciting Uber ride of a lot of people's careers, Ubering, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. You've waited your whole life for this. <laughs> <laughs> is it that or some frat boy pukes in your back seat? Oh, or, that's the one that I don't want. Or you get a a chirper or I guess 95% of the other people just look in their phones like everybody else, right? <laughs> so it's like you get the person who looks at their phones, then maybe casual conversation, then full-blown chirper, then you get the crazy, which is usually puke or what else? Like this orgasm? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, oh, that'd be, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Other than that, that's about it. <laughs> that's the spectrum. Yeah, bye-bye.